Well, Arsenal finally lost patience with their manager and we applied, but we didn't even get an interview. There is, however, another vacancy available. We have applied and we're waiting to uh, to hear what happens. So uh, find out on today's episode whether we uh, get another interview or not. Roll the titles. Hello and welcome to Club 5, episode 16 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie and coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you. We are away to Aston Villa in the Premier League in the first match and then at home to Watford. Since you were last with me, we have played three matches. We lost to Southampton heavily. We then lost to Manchester United but it was a much closer game than 0-2 suggests. And we then thrashed managerless Arsenal. And uh, we applied for the uh, the Arsenal job um, on, I think, the day of the Manchester United game and had heard that we hadn't got an interview before we played them and uh, then dished out that 4-0 spanking. So without any further delay, let's get straight into the Aston Villa game and uh, the team for that one is as follows. It's Hughes in goal, back four of Martin, Janicek, Branthwaite and Burke, Burnhaus at the base of midfield, Baptiste and LaRue ahead of him, Kevin on the left wing, Suarez on the right, Sharp up front. Let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, the assistant manager is recommending if you carry your last performance into this match, we'll do well. Given that we won 4-0 away to Arsenal, I think that's entirely appropriate. So we'll outstretch the arms and go with that. And let's get straight into the tunnel. And they want to know how we look to build on an impressive performance last time out against Arsenal. Uh, it's all about momentum. If you can score goals, you'll always have a chance. And I think we've had a good build up and we look primed to perform. I think that's fair. So let's get the match underway and see if we can get another win. Okay, we're underway and awaiting the first indications of how the match is going. With five minutes gone, we've got absolutely no clue whatsoever, although we have had marginally more possession and we've had a shot apiece with identical XG. Burenhaus comes forward, LaRue plays it to the right and Suarez. He pulls it back for LaRue. Burke takes over, gets round his man, crosses, and it's pinging around the penalty area. But eventually Sorensen finds Wenderson and it's cleared. Uh, Balogun beats uh, Branthwaite to it and the highlight comes to an end. We have another one though, Burke, sharp with the flick on and it's all the way through to Martinez who launches it over halfway. Branthwaite wins it, Burenhaus to Baptiste to LaRue. LaRue plays it through for Sharp, who takes a touch and beats the keeper at his near post. It's Aston Villa nil, West Bromwich Albion one, and 13 minutes gone. So let's get straight on with the action. And this time it's Aston Villa on the attack. Ward Price with the cross from the corner, headed away, but uh, they retain possession on the edge of the area. Koulibaly into Elia and it's cleared by Janicek only as far as Wenderson though he finds Sorensen to Koulibaly but uh, we've won it back Suarez LaRue plays it to the left and Kevin Kevin looks for a cross picks out Aaron instead Baptiste with the shot high and wide and we're now well and truly on top in this game, but we need a second goal to uh, to really make that stick. And there's no sign of it yet. 
but we're on the attack again. Burke with a cross. Martinez prevents Kevin from reaching it and launches it long. Branthwaite wins it though. Burenhaus to Suarez. Suarez over the top. Sharps in and he's missed the chance. So coming up to the half hour mark, we still lead by just the one goal. But we do have another corner. Aaron with the corner headed away and Nelson will complete the clearance by bringing it over the halfway line. And he's brought it all the way to the edge of the penalty area and has had a shot which Hughes has comfortably saved and the highlight comes to an end. And it's a throw into West Brom to Bramthwaite to Janicek into Burenhaus, Baptiste in space, finds Sharp, LaRue gives the ball away to Koulibaly who wins it back and uh, Sorensen toward Price to Sorensen Wenderson all the way back to the keeper Martinez goes long Balogun is beaten to it by Branthwaite Suarez to LaRue Burenhaus to Baptiste to LaRue LaRue plays it through Sharp can't get it past Martinez this time but we do get a corner out of it and it'll be an in-swinging corner from Aaron. And it's headed just over. So it'll be a goal kick to Aston Villa, but the highlight comes to an end. We've been thoroughly dominant in the opening 35 minutes or so. Another corner. And this time it's a penalty for, I think, pushing in the area. And there is a review, but I think this will be given. And it has been. You usually get those and it is uh, sharp with the penalty and he's blasted it past the keeper 2-0 to West Brom both goals from Fraser Sharp 38 minutes on the watch so I don't think we need a replay of a penalty and uh, that's lifted us into the top 10 Sorensen with the long throw Flicked on and uh, Harvey Elliott is there for Aston Villa at the back post. Baptiste missed his interception. Harvey Elliott and a post to smash it home. And at half time it is going to be Aston Villa 1, West Bromwich Albion 2. So let's go into the dressing room. Talk to the lads. Give them some encouragement. Uh, Matches between close fought rivals are often settled by fine margins. Keep working hard, I think that's fair. So we will pump the fists and go with that. And let's uh, have a look at whether we need to make any subs or not. Uh, do, do, do. At the moment, I'm thinking Jared Branthwaite off and uh, Darnell Furlong on. In fact, no, Cedric Kipre maybe. Yeah, Kipre on. So we'll make that one change and go out for the second half. See if we can improve our position. So let's encourage the lads. We are ahead and away from home, but only by one goal. I don't want to do a demand more because we're winning. Uh, Ward Price with a free kick. Hughes makes the save. And it's gone behind for a corner to Aston Villa. Ward Price with it. And it's headed away. I think it was Kipre. It was. Um, Nelson to Couchman and the highlight comes to an end so I'm thinking we need another sub Baptiste is shattered so we'll bring on Davin Chens uh, Burenhaus brings it over halfway but his pass is cut out by Koulibaly and Balogun is in here but uh, the keeper is up to the challenge and keeps our lead intact and 
Davinchenzi's on. So we've got one more sub left. And we've got a corner. Aaron with the outswinger this time. Kipre's header is over the top. And what are we going to do for our final change? I'm not sure yet. Koulibaly is tackled. We've won it back. Davinchenz is tackled himself. So it's Aston Villa in possession. Ward Prowse with the ball forward. Kipre wins it, but only finds Nelson. Wenderson into Koulibaly. Back to Sorensen. Wenderson to Alzat. And Balogun is in behind this time. Dinks it over the keeper. And this time they have scored. Following Balogun makes it Aston Villa 2, West Brom 2. And we've got... What have we got? We've got one sub left, I think. So, Sharp off. And... Uh, Brereton Diaz on and then we'll put Kevin up front there we go okay final change made about 20 minutes left Wenderson to Koulibaly to Sorensen Ward Price ball forward to Balogun uh, Yanitsek intercepts LaRue to Davinchens Plays it forward to the left-hand side. Kevin will keep this in. Finds Davinchens who shoots, but it's wide. Still got 17 minutes to try and find a winner. Martinez with a goal kick for Villa. Demand more at this stage. Davinchens to Kevin. Back to Burenhuis into Davinchens, who chips the keeper. And it clips the crossbar on the way over. So it'll be a goal kick, but the highlight comes to an end. Okay, let's go attacking for the last 10 or so minutes and we'll demand more when we get the chance. We've been extremely dominant in this game. Aaron, but uh, it's uh, saved from the free kick by Martinez. Aaron will take the corner. It'll be an outswinger. We need someone to just get a little glance on it, but they don't. It's headed away, and Alzat brings it over halfway. Burke, with the sliding challenge, prevents the counter-attack developing. And we're into the last six minutes. Demand more. Right, Martinez with a goal kick. Janitsek to LaRue. Burenhaus to Kevin. And Burton Diaz is in, has the shot. And Martinez makes a less than convincing save, but does eventually hold it. And we've got five minutes of added time being signalled. We're into that, well into that, in fact. And it does look like it's uh, petering out to a draw. Kipre to Burenhaus. Burke down the right-hand side. Suarez back to Burke who finds Burenhaus, Suarez, plays it forward for LaRue, it's played through to Davinchens, and Burton Diaz has an open goal, but uh, doesn't manage to convert the opportunity, and Aston Villa can come again, Cox runs after his own headed clearance, and Alzat is unlucky to f fire straight at Hughes, but does win the corner, Ward Pratt with the corner and it's headed away. Yanitsek clears, but it's uh, Maddie Cash who collects, and that is full time. Aston Villa 2, West Bromwich Albion 2. I'll see you in a moment for the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the second match of today's episode as we face uh, Watford at home. And the team for this one is Hughes in goal, the back four of Martin, Branthwaite, Burke and Furlong, Cassimi at the base of midfield, Baptiste and Davin Chans ahead of him, Kevin on the left, Esprit on the right wing and Sharp up front. Let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, the assistant manager is recommending go out there and impress me. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think that's fine. 
So we'll pump the fists and go with that. And let's uh, go into the tunnel, find out what they want to know. First goal is crucial. Uh, yeah, it's nice to start well. If we can get on the front foot nice and early, all the better. Uh, should we expect to see an attacking approach against Watford? We'll go all out. Um, chosen to stick with Chris Hughes despite a questionable run of form. Happy with his effort and commitment. I know his ability. Okay, let's uh, get the uh, match underway, which we have, and wait for early signs as to how it's going. And we've had the uh, first attempt at goal from a free kick. Keeper has made a save, but given away a corner. Aaron with the uh, corner, headed away. And will we get the uh, loose ball? No, it's uh, brought clear by Watford, but we've won it back. Baptiste over the top. And the goalkeeper's clearance is picked up by Furlong and the highlight comes to an end. So let's hit them with a demand more. We are at home, so I think that's a reasonable uh, approach to take to a game we should win. So we're, what are we, 12 minutes in. Zefwick with the free kick, plays it to Diop, who gives it him back. He then finds Thorsby, who gives the ball away. Aaron to Baptista Cassimi. And Watford get the tackle in and win it back. Dorrington to Vinya. Uh, Dorrington is tackled by Davinchens, who's in on goal. And Flavio Davinchens makes it West Bromwich Albion 1, Watford 0. And I won't bother with the replay. It was obvious how we scored. And that has lifted us into 11th in the league. Green with the ball forward. Branthwaite wins the header. Aaron gives it away to Thorsby. Saar down the right hand side. And he gets his cross in. And the defence is in all sorts of trouble here. But we get away with it. And the shot is wildly over the top. And the highlight comes to an end. So 20 minutes gone, we're 1-0 up and uh, not cruising. We're ahead, but not comfortably so. We are level with 10th placed Leicester, but trailing them on goal difference. Are they playing today? Uh, they are and they are level. So if Tottenham score, we will go 10th and equally if we manage to overturn the goal difference we could go above them as well i don't know what the goal difference gap is at the moment right uh we're nearly at half time still holding on to that one nil lead and there we go that is half time so let's get in the dressing room give the lads some words of encouragement um let's point the finger things are going well but i know you're capable of even better question is who is the halftime substitute and we're going to do uh, Branthwaite he's playing well but tiring rapidly so Jared Branthwaite off for Lecocchi uh, he's not actually no not Lecocchi undo that um Burnhouse apparently can play there, but he's only got two stars for centre back. Daniel Furlong can play there though. And then Jared Branthwaite off for Jaden Bogle is a move we can make. And uh, let's uh, get the second half underway. So we'll start the match. And we will demand more, see if we can get an early second half goal. Uh, it's Watford on the first attack. Lovinia to Dorrington, to Loser, to De Paula. Ismail Saar takes over on the right hand side. Saar down to the byline, crosses deep. Lewis Potter and Burke makes the clearance. And that was incredibly close. Goal line clearance. 
we get away with that one and we've got one more sub remaining I think Kevin is going to be the uh, probable substitute but Esprit is not far behind him uh, in fact it probably is going to be Esprit but just not yet um, in fact we've only used one so we could do a spray now um, we'll do that we'll give LaRue a go on the right in fact we won't we'll give it to Luis Suarez and Baptiste will come off in midfield after this highlight Burke plays it back to Furlong who goes for the long ball forward Sharp gets on the end of it it's going to need some support finds Aaron finds Cassimi who has the shot it's just wide so we will take Baptiste off in central midfield and bring on uh, Baldo that's a reasonable sub And we are five minutes away from a narrow 1-0 win over Watford. Uh, we've got to throw in Bogle on the right-hand side with it. And he's looking for someone. He's found Davinchens, who plays it back to Bogle. Bogle's cross. Kevin has hit the crossbar, and it's gone over the top. Hopefully that uh, won't prove to be a costly miss. We're in stoppage time. And only seconds remaining, surely now. That is full time. It's West Brom 1, Watford 0. Join me in a moment where I'll show you the league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, so following four points out of six in this episode, we find ourselves in 11th position in the table. And we are on 21 points from 17 games played and uh, level with uh, Leicester just above us so uh, in terms of what's coming up on the next episode I don't think uh, I'm going to promise you a specific match to come back to um, I mentioned in the introduction that we've applied for the Newcastle job so I will bring you back um, when we get an answer from Newcastle as to whether they want to interview us or not and if we uh, get a refusal of even getting an interview then I will show you whichever matches are coming up straight away after that so if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and